Hey everybody, it's Liz. Today I have some cards that I wanted to share. Finally got a chance to craft and I decided to make some uh, summer tropical cards. You know, it's, it's nice and hot right now and you know, the um, all the rage is, you know, the pineapples and the flamingos. So I definitely wanted to give that a go. And I found some really cute uh, cutting files on the Silhouette um, store. And I will put the link down below if you guys are interested. Uh, I found these really cute flamingos and pineapples, and I decided to cut those out and uh, incorporate them into my cards. So like I said, I just wanted to make some fun summer tropical cards. And really quick, I'm going to share with you the items that I used for my cards, and then I'll show you the project itself. So I used these dies here, and um, I can't remember where I got these. I think at Hobby Lobby, but I, I don't remember the brand. You guys may recognize them. Uh, they're just, you know, different uh, words. And so I used the word hello, and I used the word hi in my uh, cards. Okay, and then I also used this embossing folder that I had picked up at Tuesday morning a while back. It's by Doris, and this is um, kind of like a tropical leaf um, frame, so to speak. Uh, there is nothing embossed in the center, so you can definitely add something or cut it out. Um, but I really thought uh, this would go well with my tropical cards, and I haven't had a chance to use this embossing folder, so I definitely wanted to use um, you know, some of the products that I have in my stash that I haven't used. So that's the embossing folder I used. And then I also used this paper pad, which I haven't even touched. This is the My Mind's Eye on Trend 2. And I thought the bright colors and the fun gold foil would be uh, great for my summer cards. And this paper is actually, it does have flamingos in it and it has pineapples and stuff. And uh, it's a really cute collection, of course. I'm sure you guys have seen it already. Sorry, it's not focusing. But uh, really fun and bright, so I thought that would be perfect. So now let me share with you the cards that I created. Basically, I made a set of four cards that I thought would be like, you know, great all-occasion cards. The first one that I created is this one here, and I thought it turned out really cute. All the cards are the same size. They're four and a quarter by five and a half. And I started off with just plain white cardstock as my base for all four cards. And so once I cut it out, I decided to use another piece of uh, cardstock and emboss it using that embossing folder that I shared with you. I then used one of my dies and cut out a rectangle here in the middle. And then I incorporated the paper from the On Trend collection in the back as my background. And it turned out really cute. And uh, of course the focal point is this beautiful fringe flamingo and I think it is so darling. It is such a cute cutting file. And like I said, I will link it down below so you guys can take a look. It's in the Silhouette store. Very fun and it was actually free last week so when I saw it I got really excited and I was like that's perfect for what I wanted to create. So I cut it out using um, you know, different shades of pink. And of course, I layered the fringes or the different die cuts um, using some, um, uh, gosh, I can't even think, some foam tape to give it, of course, some dimension. And the cutting file uh, for these, I will also link down below. This is just like a cluster of tropical leaves, and I thought it would go really well with the flamingos. And I just uh, die cut two of them. I did cut a piece off of the second one so I could tuck it underneath here. And then, of course, everything is popped up on foam tape, if you can see the dimension here. Look how, how cool the flamingo turned out. And I think it's just darling. And uh, then I just, um, you know, cut out the word hi using um, the die that I shared with you and some gold foil paper. And then I added just a few little sequins and some colors that coordinated with the paper. And I just think it's perfect. It's really cute, a very simple card. It didn't take me very long to put this together at all. And I think it's a great all-occasion card. And um, the inside I left blank, I might stamp something in here or add another uh, piece of pattern paper. I'm not sure. But really cute card. And like I said, it came together really quickly. So that's the first one. And then the second one, I decided to uh, incorporate that uh, rectangle that I cut out from the first one right here where I cut out the... Um, center and I used it to uh, basically use a recreate a focal point on the second card. So again I started off with the white card base, added my pattern paper, uh, there's about uh, another layer here of pattern paper and then on top of that is a rectangle and again you can see the embossing from the embossing folder of the leaves and here again are those beautiful tropical leaves and the really cute flamingo and it's just really cute. And again, I used the same sentiment here, just says hi, and a couple of sequins. 
and like I said, really, really simple. And uh, you can put the, together, you know, a couple of cards in about, you know, 10 minutes or so once you cut everything out. So really cute. And again, everything is blank in the middle, in the center of the card, or the inside of the card, sorry. And then you can just add a sentiment or, you know, your greeting, another piece of pattern paper, whatever you like. So really pretty. I really like this one. I think this one's my favorite of the two flamingo cards. It turned out really cute. Love, love the fringe on the flamingo. And of course, um, the dimension, it just really pops. So great card. Um, and then I decided to uh, create one with pineapples. And of course, the same, um, I think it's the same designer in the Silhouette store, but this one was a fringed pineapple, and I thought it was just adorable. So I, I had to go along with the same tropical theme, and of course, the same paper. I layered a piece of patterned paper um, over the cardstock base, and then I cut out another rectangle from the patterned paper, and then I used my, um, my corner punch, and it's like a stub, I believe, ticket stub uh, corner. And then I cut that out, and then here I incorporated uh, the um, uh, rectangular piece of white cardstock that was embossed using that uh, tropical leaves embossing folder. And with this one, I wanted to create a little more of um, a brighter color. Well, something I thought I felt like there's too much white. You know what I mean? So I took some of my Prima sprays, color sprays, and then I just uh, sort of splattered a couple of uh, you know little. Um, color, uh, some color in the background. So I hope you can see that. Really cute. And the pineapple came together very nicely. I used different shades of yellow and then popped it up with some foam tape to give it dimension. And look how cute it is. So it's nice and fringed. And of course you could play around with the fringe and sort of lift it up a little bit if you want. I like the way that it looked so I didn't really do anything to it. And then again here are the tropical leaves that I used again from the Silhouette store. And I have them tucked behind the pineapple. I created this cute little uh, bow out of some jute and then just kind of glued it on to the top of the pineapple. And then again, you can see some sequins that I used in the background. I like using sequins. I think they're kind of fun and I have a lot, so I figured I could, you know, definitely incorporate them into my cards to use them up. And for this sentiment, I used the word hello. And again, it's from that die set that I showed you. And I just cut it out using some gold foiled paper and I have it popped up on some foam and just really pretty. I love all the different textures, you know, so you can, you have the texture from the fringe here and the jute and of course the embossing, so it turned out really nice. So that one is that, and then I made a, another um, pineapple one, and this one, I'm sorry, I have like a little piece of um, glue string, I don't know if I got it. But this one I decided to make a shaker card, and I've been making a lot of shaker cards. I haven't been sharing them because I haven't really had the time, but shaker cards are just so much fun to make, and I've been having a blast making them. And so this one I decided to do a shaker using uh, just some bits that I had in my stash. Of course, a lot of sequins, some seed beads, and some chunky glitter, and then I incorporated that little fringe pineapple. It's just adorable. And so this one, same thing, I used the embossing folder. I cut out uh, the piece here to go on top of the white cardstock base. Everything is popped up in some foam tape. And then in the background, you can see some of the patterned paper from the On Trend 2 collection. Really fun, really bright colors, and I just thought it was perfect for my tropical theme. And here's the pineapple again, using the same uh, shades of yellow that I used for the other one. The cute little jute bow. And here is the sentiment, hello. And then again, I did some splattering on this one as well, so uh, I wouldn't have so much white. So, really, really simple. And I think they turned out really cute. So it's like a whole set of tropical summer cards. And I'm thinking of maybe, uh, maybe, uh, I'm sorry, maybe making <laughs> a uh, box to go with this set. And that way I can uh, use, you know, give this as a gift. So incorporate all four cards and make like a little um, gift box or so, and then you know coordinating envelopes. And I thought I just think it would be a really cute gift for somebody that's not crafty. You know what I mean? Um, I just think it'd be fun. So, and who wouldn't like to receive a set of handmade cards, right? So, those are my cards that I wanted to share with you today. I hope you like them. And again, this one is still my favorite. I love flamingos. You guys are so much fun. And I just love, you know, the pink and just, they're such a fun bird. <laughs> and uh, I'm so glad that's like really in right now. You find it anywhere. But 
Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about my simple cards. And, uh, you know, I hope you guys like them as well. And like I said, I will link down the uh, files, the cutting files down below. If you guys are interested, definitely go, you know, check them out. They were really fun to work with. So thank you for watching. Have a great day, everybody. And I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.